I'm a shipped rookie. I've only done a few deliveries in the past, and now I'm going to try to make a full day out of working for shipped. Hopefully I can accept as many offers as possible. Sometimes I look on the offer screen and it's not very busy. There's hardly any orders to take. I did accept my first order and so we are going to head off to the store. I just got to the store and this offer looks like a pretty good one. $18 base pay for nine items and I'm not having to drive too far. I'm wondering if somebody had claimed this order and then dropped it and that's why there's now promo pay. Uh, because I do have to shop pretty fast to go deliver this, uh, but it seems like a good start to the day. I left my shipped card in the car, so I had to go run and get it, but now I'm going to check out. Shopping is done, now on to the customer. First order dropped off, texted the customer a photo of all the items left at their door and just sent them a message thanking them for their order. It took me about an hour to complete that delivery. Yes, that is a long time, but I am a rookie and uh, I made $18 in base pay for that and hopefully the customer tips after. If they did, you know, of course I'll put it up on the screen. Shipped is pretty slow in my area but hopefully today we can get some good orders. If not, I might have to work some other apps before I can get another good shipped order. I had to stop for gas and it looks like it's a terrible time to do it because there's like mm, at least 20 cars here at this gas station trying to fill up. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna be here for a while. I've been trying to pick up another shipped order but absolutely nothing has been coming to my phone in the grocery store i was getting a couple offers uh, but i was too busy trying to complete the order that i had that i was like i can't accept anything right now let's just like worry about this one and then hopefully after that there will be available orders but that has not been the case i would really accept something that's usually below my dollars per hour that i'm trying to hit if it's on shipped uh, just because i'm trying to get more experience on the app so I'm not really like being picky or anything. I'm just uh, trying to find a good order that's actually in my zone. I'm really excited. I texted that shipped customer as I was dropping off the items, just thanking them for letting me serve them. And then this is my first time I did this on shipped. I let them know that a large portion of our income comes from tips. And so if they would like to, uh, please tip because that would help me out a lot. And uh, then I just got the notification that I was tipped $10. That was really nice. And so that in total order ended up being $28. And I think my theory was right that somebody had accepted this order and then canceled it uh, because I checked and it said that there was $10 promo pay on there. So I think shipped one of that order completed as fast as possible. And also I became a preferred shopper for that customer. First time ever doing that. I didn't really know how that works, but I do know that, you know, when they order the items next time, wherever they're ordering from on shipped, I think that shipped is going to give me priority in terms of accepting that offer. It is incredibly slow out today. I mean, I did pick a Tuesday to do this whole thing. Uh, <laughs> oh man, like I'm really not getting any offers. So I am going to turn on DoorDash, Grubhub, maybe even Instacart just to see what's out there.
It's been really, really rough out here today. Um, part of that's probably just Tuesday. I mean, like, it just feel like nobody's really ordering anything. I did do a couple DoorDash orders, and, like, they weren't terrible. Uh, this Rubio's one was actually, like, pretty good, like, less than a mile for $6. Uh, but, wow, I, th I think this is probably the slowest day I have ever worked. <laughs> it's just crazy, because I got DoorDash, Uber Eats, I even have Grubhub running. Shipped has not given me anything good since that first order, but I just accepted two shipped orders for 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. And so hopefully I can complete both of those and maybe even get a tip from one of them. I do want to make sure that neither of these orders are late. And so I need to get off early to that first store. <laughs> go drop this one off and then I'll tell you about it. I'm stuck in traffic so I have a little time to talk. Uh, I sent that customer the intro text and they didn't respond. Usually when they don't respond to that it's not really a great sign. I mean I've only done a couple of ship deliveries in the past but that's just kind of how I feel about it. Every item I try to pick up it feels like it's out of stock. Five of the nine items were out of stock and so I like made a whole list and I told the customer, hey, like this is what's out of stock. This is what I can substitute it with and uh, no response. And so I go pick up everything else and there's still no response, called them, nothing, text them again, nothing. And then I contacted support because I'm like, hopefully they can do something about this. Shipped customer support said that it was fine if I made the substitutions based on my own best judgment. And so that's what I did. I tried my best to substitute the items accordingly. It was difficult because it was five of them out of nine, uh, but I did my best and I told the customer, hey, this is what I'm doing. And then I left, still no response, dropped it off at the customer's door, still no response. <laughs> I just don't think I'm gonna get a tip on this. That was a nightmare experience, especially because I have to go drive to another order right now that's about 15 minutes away. And uh, I have to get that completed before the hour's up, which like, it shouldn't be a problem at all, but this is why I don't like shopping for items. This is why I stick to things like DoorDash, Uber Eats, and Grubhub. Um, but this is a good experience because I do need to learn how Shipped works uh, in case I do want to do more of it in the future. Like the app is really nice. I really like the Shipped app. It's just that when customers don't respond, we need substitutions. That is a big issue. That basically took me almost an hour to get like $10. It's not even $10. It's like $9 and like 91 cents, I think. Uh, unless they tip me, which I really don't think is gonna happen. I went through this drive-thru, but I definitely should have gone in the store. Uh, I've been sitting here for far too long. The one person in front of me has taken over 10 minutes. I really should have gone inside. It's supposed to be ready. It was supposed to be ready like almost an hour ago. If this takes more than five minutes, I might be late delivering it. That looks good to me. Wow, what a terrible experience. Not only did I have to wait in that drive through for like, 10 to 15 minutes, which like, maybe that's my fault. Maybe I should have gone into the store. Uh, but anyway, I drove to the customer, which is only about a mile away, not too bad. And then uh, I knocked on their door, no response. Knocked on their door again, no response. Called them, no response. Knocked on their door, no response. Uh, texted them, no response. Called them, nothing. Knocked on the door, knocked on the door, knocked on the door. 
Ah, uh, man, this has not been the first time that I've had this issue with shipped with a CVS order. Like, it's been ridiculous. Like, <laughs> I've hardly completed any shipped orders in my entire life. And, man, this is the second time this has happened with CVS. I had that one issue with that Safeway earlier today. I just... Wow, this has been a really rough experience. Like, I'm hoping that it gets better. I'm hoping that somebody in the comments section can tell me, like, how th I can improve. But, like, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. One of the good things that I saw was that when the order got canceled, I actually received $11. So, like, maybe I got paid more because I had to drive the order all the way back to the store. Um that's just not worth it to me like to spend 30 minutes just like struggling to really do anything and then to get eleven dollars like that's not good enough i jeez like i don't know what i'm supposed to be doing because i could make a lot more doing food delivery i don't know if i need to be wasting my time doing this uh this has just been my experience with shipped hopefully it gets better i will try it out again at some point but Man, it has been a struggle. Three orders, $54.72. Of course, this was a Tuesday, and I always say that Tuesdays are the worst day that you can deliver, and so, you know, maybe just no one is ordering. As a shipped rookie, I mean, like, the three orders that I did on shipped, I really did not like them except for the first one that I had. I'm going to have to keep working shipped to see if it's going to be good for me long term, but as of right now, I am not a fan of it. I'm just really hoping that every time I get these pharmacy orders, people actually respond and answer the door and also, when I'm doing the grocery orders, it'd be very helpful if the customers text me back or call me back. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you've been enjoying the rest of my videos, please subscribe and I'll see you next time.